The warm sunny weather this holiday weekend lures many out onto the water, but apparently boating enthusiasts aren't aware of what their holiday fun is doing to the local wildlife. Local experts share their concerns with 47 ABC's Jennifer Fulgeniti. This terrapin is now in rehabilitation after a propeller hit him last week. Sandy Smith of Maryland Coastal Bay's program says this kind of thing happens more often with more boaters on the water. So a warning, if you see wildlife, stay at least 50 feet away. It's called harassment if you get any closer. Especially for dolphins. A mother's attempt to protect her calf could be fatal. A dolphin, um, most likely she's going to try to keep that calf by her and there's a potential of it drowning um, or being separated. And again, once it's separated from its mother, um, when they're that young, they can't survive on their own. And in terms of bird sanctuaries, although there are signs warning people to stay away, experts say some people still go ashore illegally, putting those habitats at risk. Best rule of thumb, stay in channels and follow the designated buoys. And if you hit or see an injured animal, report it to the Natural Resources Police as soon as possible. As much as you'd like to help, like flipping over a horseshoe crab stranded on its back, don't. If you break that tail, you've done more harm than good. The best thing you can do is ride them by just grabbing them by their shell and flipping them over. But with 108 threatened species in these waters, it's important to know how to keep them safe. Jennifer Fulgeniti, 47 ABC. So if you see a turtle out of the water, don't just throw them back into the ocean. Smith says check out their feet first. If they have flippers, they live in the ocean. But ones without those uh, fins, like the terrapins, they should stay bayside.